What's going on YouTube? Today we got my piece of tracker and we're fixing the hole in the block I put. <laughs> and now if you ask me why there's a hole in my block, it's because I'm a idiot and I over tightened the tapered fitting and snapped, snapped the port off the block. And as you can see, JB Weld, by the oil, the oil drops did not hold. I didn't get the ramps out yet. Oh yeah. Nice. Nah, you should have kept it going. There you go. So we're trying to fix this oil pressure sensor. It's JB welded in. You have to take the exhaust manifold off and disconnect the cat. Our Chevy mechanic is chiseling the JB Weld away right now. It's going really good. Whoever did this is an absolute Neanderthal. <laughs> but, you know, you live in your yeah, That's I the guess. white that's unmixed. That's the or unmixed JB Weld. The JB Weld, Weld wasn't even mixed up. He might have used something else on there too. Oh my God, dude. Unless he tried to mix it while it was on there. That's so bad. JB welded my block <laughs> closed and it didn't work. It didn't work, so today we're trying to do it right. We're gonna JB weld it harder this time, dude. <laughs> we're using the extra string. <laughs> Me JB welding the fuel filter housing on my truck. <laughs> Yeah, at least yours was successful. That was not by decision, though. That was by necessity. I did try and do it correctly, and it did not work. What if we start it and watch where the oil pees out? All right, fire it up, man. There's no headers. There's no exhaust on there. You're Maybe we should have. We should have did that first, huh? Just it's put the exhaust in here. on upside down. So we got the uh, professional in here fixing it. Yeah. Give her a little grind down action. Dude, it smells like JV well. Dude, it really does. It smells like fish. It's gross. It smells like when you get a cavity filled. It does. Oh my god. That's my enamel being ground down or ground grinding the enamel off your ball. She's, she's a crusty girl. Holy crap, dude. You made so much progress. Dude, Seth's Seth the real mechanic here. Now, do you think he threaded it, or do you think it's just stuck in there with some I mean, JB I got weld around vice it? Grips right now. I can <clears> out. What if we put a socket on it and try and spin it? Do that. See if it breaks it loose. Yeah. What size do you reckon that is? 14? 13? 13. Where's the impact? Small 15. Dude, that's so bad. Right. No way. All right. I'm so confused. So I guess we should uh, wire wheel this some more then, huh? Yeah. See what's metal and what isn't. All right. This is my least favorite part. Oh, wait. I see where the block's broken now. Yep, block broken. This is where we both get blasted in the eyes. What a nightmare that would be. All right, so in order to fix our JB welded hole in the block, what we got here, some more JB weld. We got the 520 PSI, the higher strength formula. <laughs> we're not talking about the regular, we're talking about the higher strength now. So if this don't fix it, she's going to the junkyard. <laughs> You're gonna see me really depressed, but we go ahead and mix her on up, you know, add some Loctite on the bolt going in the hole. This is what I like to call thread locker right here. <laughs> if you got a hole in your block and you can't fix it and it's leaking oil, just do some nice spring clean and, you know, scrape off the old JB Weld, get you the JB Weld stronger and mix her up. Super strength. What does it say? Super. Higher strength. Higher strength. We ain't talking about the the big stuff. We're talking about the high strength. No sissy weld here. <laughs> yep. 
Now you gotta just mix her on up, you know. Make sure you breathe in all the chemicals too. That stuff does make you stronger. It's critical for the human immune system. Alright. Kind of. Dude, I feel like the stir and stick ate all the, the stir and stick ate, ate all the JB weld. Where's the oh okay, here we go. Alright. Now you gotta make sure you apply a good amount of thread locker on your bolt. And when I say a good amount, I mean a healthy serving. You want to make sure no oil can get past that. You should put some around like the flanged part of the bolt too. Yeah, might have to mix up a little more. Definitely need a better mixing surface. Yeah. No, is there like a stick or something? Oh, what if we use a Chevy Malibu head bolt for a stirring stick? That might be good. Here, I'll wipe it off on my pants. Here's a better stir and stick. Okay. Chevy Malibu hut bolt. Chevy mechanics unite. From one Chevy to the next. From one Chevy to the next. Send her on in, you know, the Loctite will do his job. She's cross-threaded, she's cross-threaded. Cross-threaded's better than not threaded at all. Yep. Wise man once told me, she ain't cross-threaded, she ain't in. Now, I hope this don't strip out of the block like the other one. Why isn't it getting tight? Oh, okay, here we go. We're getting tight. I can feel it in my bones. And I can also feel my hand slamming against the studs on the catalytic converter. Just don't let her strip out. Which she might just be stripping. No, dude, it's actually getting tight for real. Like, really? Like, it's actually, like, almost to the point where I can't tighten it anymore. sure like i'm not gonna like send it to the moon because you know the block was cracked but yeah. my veins are coming out a little bit so like if it hurts my arm to twist it i'd say she's tight oh yeah dude she's tight yeah she's tight i don't wanna go much more than that i think that's solid as a rock oh dude that hole that crack is so big that crack is so big dude all right, let's see the final product of coat number one. Oh, dude, that's good. That's so much better. I tried than it to was shove before. it in behind the bowl, all that. Try to get it all around there. That's so much better than it was before. Before it was so bad, because it was like thirty different layers that had already been leaked on. We let this set up. Because I, what he might have done, I guess he cleaned off my JB weld because I JB weld the hole first. It didn't fix it. And then he JB welded it, but he had to take off mine to put that bolt in for sure. You know what they say though? Third time's the charm, baby. After handling and all, uh, JB weld all in your hands, just use a little bit of this and brake clean, especially when you're off, uh, water shut off to your shop. That's so bad. Now I can kiss my lady with these hands. <clears throat> this I'm using the whole thing as hope. Did you mix the whole entire both tubes together already? I still have a little left we're doing. Oh, yeah. Really clobber on in there. You gotta make sure she's really in the crack. I think this will work, I'm confident. I got major confidence. I feel like the last two JB welders probably didn't remove the exhaust and didn't clean it probably. and didn't use JB weld as thread locker. Off for, for some shit I'm not gonna buy. That's the thing though, but you're like actually a good person. Most of these people are just animals. It's like they don't have any hobby and they're just sitting on Marketplace and they're like, bro, would you take 400? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, oh, when can I come? And then I tell them and then they don't ever respond. And I'm like, okay, true. If you wanted to come a different time, you could have just been like, dude, that doesn't work for me. Could I come on like Tuesday? And I would be like, yes. I just don't get it. Dude, you're needing it like dough. All right, last glob. This oh, is gonna really be a nice one. In glob in her hand. Not really, just tap her on in there and then just play it around the bolt. God, I hope this works. I have confidence, dude. I feel like we did a really good job at doing this the wrong way. We did as best as you can being a hack. 
it's put back together now all jb welded we're just gonna let it sit for a few days and then our uh repair it'll be dry it'll be the moment of truth we'll see how it works out if it leaks or not so we're revisiting this it's been a week the jb weld set she's solid i just got a splinter from it when i felt it no oil it's not wet at all we'll have to check the oil and fire her up grab that dip stick buddy <laughs> Hopefully it's got oil in it. Dude, it's got oil in it. Are you gonna wipe it and stick it back in? Do we respect it that much? Yeah, just use the rag that just got dropped on the floor. <laughs> That's such a weird dipstick. It ain't going in. What a Chevy. Epic Chevy in. moment. I think you might have to use two hands, buddy. Dude. Lift it out. You're clearly not hitting the hole. I can hear it hitting metal. You're hitting the rim of the valve cover. You flung that out like a rocket. Dude, she's still perfect. This thing didn't even leak that bad. He must have just been acting up. You want to drive forward a little so we can get the lift arms out from under it as well? Yeah. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. The battery's been charging for a week as well, so we'll see if that thing's loyal or not. Why does it sound like that? Oh, okay. All right, let's see what happens. So far, so good. Dude, she's smoking. It smells like barbecue. What do you think smoking? I think it's the exhaust from where we cleaned the, the poop off. It's not leaking. It did pop out a little tiny cloud. Well, as you can tell, JB Weld did not do the job. She's still leaking. All that smoke is coming off the exhaust. I mean, maybe it needs more in that left corner, but I don't know. I think it's time for a new engine. This thing's mega clapped. And then the drive, it literally drove so bad we didn't even film it because it was terrifying because this hub is halfway between free and locked. So it's uh, just screaming at the top of its lungs and it wants to rip you off the road. It's great. Loved it. It was awesome. So in conclusion... Maybe just don't try and replace the oil pressure sensor on uh, whatever engine this is, because it sucks. And uh, if you do that and you break the engine block somehow, don't try and fix it with JB Weld. So, that's where I'm at. New engine time. This thing, piece of crap. Garbage, scrap metal. Oh well, better luck next time.